detecting pancreatic cancer in my patients uh, at an early stage and being able to tell them that this is actionable stage disease where there's an option for treatment um, is often a blessing. We started the high-risk pancreas clinic in early 2020 here in Mayo Clinic, Rochester. And the idea behind it was to provide care to patients who are at a higher than average lifetime risk of pancreatic cancer. There are several risk factors of pancreatic cancer, an extensive family history, which is often more than one family member affected on the same side of the family, usually involving at least one first degree relative. So that would be parents, siblings, children. And then there are certain genes that if there is a mutation in that gene, then that increases their lifetime risk. We usually don't start till about age 50. There are some mutations where we uh, have indications to start earlier in life. If somebody has a family member who was diagnosed at a very early age, then that age to start screening can change based on that. If a patient calls and requests for an appointment in the high-risk clinic, then they'll be in contact with one of our pancreas nurses who will do a, a short health history. We'll often have them meet with our genetic counselors. During the clinic visit itself, it usually starts off with a visit with me and we go over risk factors, what the pros and cons of screening are, what to expect from the screening modalities. Screening should be done in pancreatic centers of excellence. The modalities for screening include imaging and endoscopic ultrasound. But even more than just having the modality available, it is about interpreting the test results. There's a lot of expertise across uh, multiple disciplines here uh, in a center like Mayo Clinic to be able to do that and do that at a high quality. The patients who are diagnosed early and can be offered curative surgery, those are the patients that have the highest five-year survival. As the science advances and as the tools for detection advance, our goal is to be able to help not only these patients today, but tomorrow and, and subsequent generations.